Welcome to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm your host. And today's video is titled 10 Part-Time Jobs That Pay Well. Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm your host. And before the break, I told you that I'm going to tell you about 10 part-time jobs that pay well. And let me give you some qualifiers on this. The jobs that I'm going to tell you about do require some training. The jobs I'm going to tell you about do require education in a particular field. But the jobs that I'm telling you about, they do pay well. And these are jobs that you can do part-time. They don't require you to be there every single day. They don't require you to get up at a certain hour for the most part unless you schedule an appointment. But these are definitely jobs that are going to pay you well. So before I tell you about the jobs, I want to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to Over 50 TV. There's also a thumbs up button. Uh, you all know, uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Let's get right down to 10 part-time jobs that pay well. Let's start with number one. And the first job that I'm going to tell you about is a job as a tutor. You know, I've been to some stores. Uh, I've been to coffee shops. I've seen tutors sitting there with young kids and they're basically sitting there going over their, their lessons with them, going over the books with them. Now, the thing that's nice about being a tutor is the pay is a right around according to, uh, and I'm going to read this here, according to Indeed.com, the average tutor makes $21.33 per hour. Now, a lot of that does depend on the area that you're in, and of course, it's probably going to depend on the subject that you're teaching as well. But a tutor is a great part-time gig. You set your own hours, you set your appointments, Life coach. A life coach is one of the highest paid part-time earners with many making more than $50,000 per year. And if you're familiar with a guy like Tony Robbins, who's making in the millions and tens of millions of dollars per year, he is a life coach. And a life coach requires someone, and it says here, to be compassionate, have good listening skills, and the ability to creatively problem solve. And certainly the people that I know who are life coaches, the people who I've seen on videos or, or, or seen in person, they definitely have those qualifications. And according to ZipRecruiter, uh, a life coach can make as little as $30 per hour or, as I mentioned, a whole lot more. Okay, here's another nice part-time position that pays well. And that position is the position of being a freelance writer. And as a guy who owned a chain of business-to-business -business publications, as somebody who owned a weekly newspaper, I'm definitely familiar with freelance writers. I would hire a freelance writer to supplement my staff if I didn't have a person to go out on an assignment, I'd just give a call to a freelance writer and they'd, they'd take that assignment and they'd get paid either by the word, they get paid by the, by the assignment. Uh, if it was an assignment that required a lot of research, they charged me a little bit more. If it was an assignment that didn't require a lot of research, I'd get paid, they'd, they'd actually uh, get paid less. Or in some cases, I'd hire freelancers on basically what you, I would just call a retainer. If I needed them during the month to do three articles, five articles or more, I would just uh, arrive at a fee to pay them and, and that would be it. But a freelance writer is a good position if you're looking to be able to work out of your house, you know, maybe go out and, and do an assignment, meet people. Freelance writers can pay well, but it depends really on how much you want to put into it. If you just want one or two articles a month, you can get a good client who will pay you on a regular basis, you're set. Another part-time position that pays well is a freelance graphic designer. And you can be paid up to anywhere from $50 or more per hour, depending how good you are, depending how talented you are. But what I like about this position, and I'm bringing this up to you now, is because I do have some experience with this position. Uh, I mentioned another position, a freelance writer that I have hired in the past. I've hired many freelance writers. But in this case, a graphic designer, freelance graphic designer, is a good position if you're just looking to work out of your home, or if you're only looking to work a few days a week or a few hours a week, you just have to know a graph, some good graphic design programs. You've got to have a computer and you've got to have some design knowledge. And I believe it's something that you can acquire fairly easily in terms of design knowledge. But a good graphic designer, again, they can make some pretty decent money. I've seen part-time graphic designers making up to $50,000 a year, just part-time. Here's another part-time gig that'll pay well, and that's a hairstylist. You know, a hairstylist definitely is going to require some 
education. It's going to be, require some certification. There's training programs. A hairstylist must complete a training program approved by your state's cosmetology licensing board. Uh, that education, you can go online and you can look up a, a hairstylist. But I do think a hairstylist as a profession, it's a nice profession. You can make about $14 per hour, according to ZipRecruiter. That's what the average hourly wage is uh, nationally. Of course, it does depend on the region, the area that you're in. But the thing that's nice all about being a hairstylist and about the income is you do get, for the most part, you're going to get tips. So to add that tip in there and your income could go way up. Another part-time job that pays well is a fitness instructor. And I really like this position. I have worked with many fitness instructors over the years, whether I hired someone or just work with them and, and work with them on their business. So I'm pretty familiar with fitness instructors. Now, once you get your certification, you can start offering group or you can even offer private lessons. And the private lessons usually pay a bit more. Now, to get certified, you can go online and visit some websites. I'm gonna tell you about them now. You can visit the American Council on Exercise that's one website, Aerobics and Fitness Association of America, or you can visit the American College of Sports Medicine. According to Indeed.com, the average fitness instructor makes about $22.71 per hour, which is a nice, a nice uh, wage, and that is according to Indeed.com. Another part-time gig that I have actually done myself is a bartender. And you know what, I, I, it's so funny because I've talked to people who say, how do I become a bartender? You know, they want the side income, they want to work only weekends. You know, they hear about, hey, bartenders can make a lot of money with tips. And yeah, it's definitely true. It depends though on where you're working. If you're working in a nicer place compared to a place that's not so nice. But a bartender is a great side gig. I know when I started out in, as a bartender a few years ago or years ago, what I did is I just watched videos. I took the 10 top drinks that I knew, the most popular drinks, and I just memorized the ingredients. And all of a sudden now, there I am, I'm a bartender. You don't need a degree to be a bartender. You don't need a license to be a bartender. All you need is the knowledge and you definitely want to have the people skills. But a bartender can make anywhere from, depending on the hourly, a bartender can make, it says here, $8.61 up to $12.19 per hour. My own experience was at $12 per hour and with tips, on a good night, you could take home $150, $200. You could take home more than that, depending on, on, again, whether it's a good night. But a bartender is a great good, a little side gig. Now, here's another great little part-time gig, and that is a nanny. And the thing I like about the nanny position is it's definitely a position that you can do one or two days a week and you can do more if you'd like but it's really a great little gig there and what i like also about it is that there's no degree that's required to become a nanny but let me do tell you this and i i've got some notes here an associate associate's degree or a specialized certification in early childhood development would help your career uh, CPR and first aid certification is commonly required. Uh, nannies are typically at least 18 year old, which most of the people in our audience, I'm sure you're gonna be over 18 years old. You should also have great communication skills. I, I do see that and also instructional skills. Now the hourly rate does depend on the number of children that you are taking care of. It depends on if the, on the geographic area as well. But on average, according to ZipRecruiter, uh, a nanny makes anywhere from $12.24 an hour to $17.34 per hour. So you can see it's a great little side gig. There is some education required as, as, I, as I mentioned here, but it's a job that you can do part-time. Massage therapist. Now this is a great little side gig. And I've worked with some yoga studio owners and I've seen massage therapists come in and a yoga studio owner would have a room where they would offer massage. And a massage therapist would come in and do a massage and make anywhere from 100 to $120 working on 
client. So it's a nice side gig because they could come in on their own hours when, when the need was there, it's part time. Uh, they get or they make as much uh, uh, money as the effort that they put into the job. So massage therapist is a nice gig. And the thing about massage therapists, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, massage therapy jobs are expected to increase at an astonishing rate of 26% through 2026 in comparison to the average growth of 7%. The average growth of 7% for all other occupations. So if you're a massage therapist, chances are you've got a gig that you know you can feel confident that you're gonna have that gig for a long time. Now, according to ZipRecruiter, the average wage for massage therapists, or the range, I should say, is between $20 and 13 cents per hour to a high of $28 and 51 cents per hour. That's if you're working for somebody else. But if you're working and you're going in and you are just freelancing, you can make, uh, and I've seen it, you can make a hundred bucks, $120, you can make more than that selling items on eBay and I work with a client who does sell items on eBay and what he does is he goes out on a regular basis on a weekly basis he'll go to garage sales he'll go to estate sales he'll buy items he'll negotiate the price as low as he can then he goes back to his house and he shoots a picture of it puts it up on eBay and on his site on eBay, and he basically becomes a reseller. He's selling that product. But I've seen him knowing his numbers, knowing he puts in part-time hours, very part-time hours, maybe a half hour to an hour a day in some cases, but he can make anywhere from 400 to $1,000 per month. And this is working completely part-time. Yeah, granted, he does go to some estate sales and garage sales, as I've mentioned. He enjoys doing that, but he makes a real good income. And he's a small business owner who uses eBay as his income source, as his platform to resell products. I hope you got some value out of this video. I know I had some fun putting it together, did some great research, talked to quite a few people, wanted to make sure that what I'm telling you is extremely accurate, and what I'm telling you can offer you some great value. So listen, speaking of value, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, just click on that button. If you do that, that lets me know that you enjoyed the video. There's also a subscribe button. Please subscribe to our channel. Just hit that little red button. There's a little bell. If you click on that little bell, you'll get our latest updates and they'll be delivered right to your inbox. That's all I got for you today. Have a great day, everybody. And I look forward to meeting you and talking to you again soon.